Hey, Audrey, Brian Driscoll over here at the high school. Got uh, some questions for you in regards to Google Sheet formulas. Um, got some that are a little bit uh, extravagant, but I'm essentially trying to take data from one Google Sheet to a different document that's a Google Sheet, so not within the same document. I can do, I know how to do the ones from sheet to sheet within its own, um, and, I'm, and I figured out how to take it from one sheet to another with import range, and so I'll, I'll scroll down. So this is the sheet that I want the new data to be transferred to. Um, so you can see over here in this left-hand column, I'll, I'll, I've got this, um, this formula here with import range, and I've got the sheet and then the actual cell. But the problem I have is that when I go to, just like any other formula, I want to drag that down. I'm clicking on the bottom right-hand corner, and I'm dragging down, and the only thing it's doing is the exact same column. So I know that it's importing a range, which is just that one cell. I'm trying to figure out how to do the range portion to where it is an entire column and then I can do the same thing for the other one so if you happen to know that um, I was even in inside um, in here doing doing code um, trying to watch a video and I don't know if it'll pop up here it's taking a while my internet's really slow um, but I was doing script editor and trying to figure that out so I don't know if that's exactly how I need to do it but if you could give me some help um, and I'll go back over here to the sheet that I'm trying to to bring over so, um, man, this internet's slow right now. So this is the sheet where I'm trying to transfer all the data. So you can see the names and then this first column here where it's grad year. I'm just trying to get it to where there's, there's four or 500 names. I don't want to have to obviously do that four or 500 times where I can just pull it down. Now I could just add the sheet within this own document, but it's, it's complex as to why I need to, to do it on this other sheet. Um, I could probably answer a little bit better probably in person, but I need it to be on this sheet and not have to transfer this data, mainly because I've got scoring rubrics that are using very large formulas that are going and getting named ranges that are on this sheet and going back and forth. And so I don't want to have to try to convert that over there. So if you could help me on that, that'd be great. Uh, appreciate it.